Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. Um, we're going to be on part two and finishing up this fold over journal. Um, this was the one that I finished and my idea was to use up eight by eight paper packs that I had either just had a few pieces. This page, these pages here I had been gifted and they were so pretty. This is a graphics fairy. And um, also use up some of those clasp envelopes. So part one, I showed you how to cut down that envelope and to use the full sheet of eight by eights. And uh, this was the one that um, I had done previously and with pockets and then um, and then another and pages sewn in one signature and um, some tags and some little booklets and everything to kind of coordinate in here so we're in the middle of one of these so last time uh, part one we had constructed the uh, the cover now and then put some pockets in here and then um, came in and made the center piece pocket uh, this with the pocket rather the the cardstock that's going in the middle of the pages that I'm going to be sewing in here shortly now this um, <laughs> I had mentioned before I wanted to keep the top open like this. Okay, hold on. Greg, I'm doing a video, honey. Sorry, my husband's home and he's playing with the dog. So uh, I wanted to keep this open at the top uh, to put some tags. But when I went to the machine, I ended up sewing it all shut. So there's not going to be any top-loading tags, but that is an idea. Um, because we're using cardstock on both sides, you could still just sew this part and leave this open for a, um, for a pocket. Uh, so two, you could do two large tags, and that was my intention. But I sewed around it. So now we're going to embellish and um, sew our pages in. So I wanna embellish these front two pockets here, or do I wanna sew the pages in first? And we're gonna make some, some tags. Let's go ahead and make some tags, and then, um, and then we'll sew the pages in. So also I, want, I pulled out my scraps, so I have some scraps here. Okay, and I'm going to be using those to trim out our pockets in a couple of our pages just for some interest. And I do have this left for the cardstock. And this is the Enchanted Floral Collection. Um, Enchanted Forest Collection, rather. And uh, so I have this one both sides are printed on and I have this I have this and I have this one and that's all I have left and then some uh, tags and things over here so I want uh, a nice big tag here and then I'm probably gonna put in one of these journaling cards that I cut out uh, off of one of the pages of cardstock in the front of the big tags. And I kind of like this. But this is so busy on the back side that um, I think I'm going to gesso over the back so, you, so that it can be written on. So I did pull out my gesso. So we're going to make two tags here. Oh, my dogs are frisky. They just ate their dinner, and boy, do they get frisky after they eat. Oh, I know you hear the squeaking of the toys. Oh, gracious. Okay, I think I want my tag to be uh, three, three and a quarter inches wide. So let me cut this in half. 
or cut this down three and a quarter inches. I'm still standing. I think I should sit down. And let me see if that is going to be the size. Yes, that's the size I want. So I'm going to make two. One for each pocket. This will be the front of the book, and this is going to be the back of the book, journal. Okay, um, now I've got to figure out how tall I want it, because I might come in and put a tab on the top. I probably will. So, I th this is eight inches, so I'm gonna cut it down to uh, six. That way I can have like a enough room for a tab at the top. And I'm going to do them both. So I was saying, um, I'm trying to do some of these shorter projects and simpler things for see now I have these two um, for something um, for you know to for Christmas you know hol Christmas gifts and Hanukkah gifts for people because um, the holidays are coming up I think I'm going to go ahead and round the top of the tag Before I do anything else, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put a, a, a small coat of gesso on this white. Now I could come in and do, you know, sew on uh, some coffee dyed paper here, or, you know, a plain color cardstock. Oh, my brush is a little, um, but I decided to do the gesso. Uh, Ricky's trying to get his sister to play. Ricky is the youngest of the... Shoot, I didn't want to get it on the front. And um, she, he's much younger. He's the youngest of the two rat terriers. We have three dogs. We have a... Um, some a papillon I think it might be a papillon mix they're both they're they're rescues the dogs are rescues but uh the two are um purebred rat terriers but the one is just a puppy compared to the other one now they stay frisky till they're and very active till they're pretty old the one I think is probably somewhere around 13 or 14 and it's still got a lot of pep in it the other one's probably about three. Okay, let me just take a baby wipe and clean up my table. I thought I had one out here. I guess not. I do like not having to pull out my craft mat all the time. That's that's nice. Now I'm gonna just dry this because this will see how it kind of curled up once it dries, it'll flatten back out. So sorry about the noise, guys. Just just for a sec. Plus I wanna move on with the with the tag, whoops. You know what, let me see if I can tilt my camera up this way a little bit so I'm not so far out of focus all the time. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Sorry about that noise. Let me just get this in some water. I've ruined one too many brushes. 
put the lid on this. I'm going to come in and take that black smoke, not black smoke, hickory smoke, um, and ink, ink around my tag. So here on the front, so I'll just ink right over that. Um, I'll probably come back and do a better job with the inking after, but I don't want to spend too much time on that. Um, okay, now I want to do, so these are going to look cute in here, I think. They're pretty colorful. Not a good, cute. It's pretty. So, I want to do a little tab on the front, or on the top. Now, I could do, I could put a grommet in here if I want it. Here, I got to let my dog out. What's going on, guys? Go. I'm trying to do a video. Oh, gosh. That's the mailman. I apologize. I apologize, guys. Um, so I'm going to use these scraps. And I do, I did pull out some trims. So this, I mean, this is, I don't have a lot of colors and you know, in of trims in these lines, but in this these colors on this pa paper. But I do have this one, I have this, and I do have some black. So that's what I've got, and that's what we're gonna work with. And I thought I might, after I sew it in, might use this for the tie for the enclosure. So I think I'm going to say that one let me see if I need it all, because if I don't need it all, then, yeah, I'm not going to need it all. So I can take a little bit off if I want to use that for trim, but that's all I've got of that. And then I have some of this, and I think I might do something with that. But I'm going to use up some of these scraps. So I have... Um, I like the green, or I could come in and use the red and just make like a little tab here at the top. I think I'll just use the green and then um, just uh, come in after and sew it and do a, a decorative stitching on it, and that'll be all you really need. So let me get my pencil, Let's see what size. Wait a minute, I don't, this is the only one I have. So I'm just gonna do it like this and cut it right in half. And since I have these decorative scissors that I've used on the pockets, I might as well use those. Actually, I'm going the wrong way with that one. And I think I'll just come, maybe I'll just come across the top too. Just for a little, little something. I did, whoa, these are tight. I just got these scissors, they're a little tight. I was just noticing I have this too. So I think I'm just going to tear it and ink it. And I'll glue that on there too, just for interest, since I'm not really using um, much in the way of ribbon trims and I wanna use up as much of this cardstock as possible. Just 
Just put that right on the top. For a tab. And then this just for a little. I think I wanted a little smaller. Let that sit for a minute. And I will take this to the machine after and put a little a little stitching here and a little stitching here. Okay, I'm gonna put these aside because I don't want to put them in the pocket before I um this is a little crooked, isn't it? I just noticed Get my bigger scissors. What I was saying is I have a bad habit of starting a sentence and moving on before I finish it. Have you all noticed? I'm sure you have. Um, oh, this is cute. I just saw this. It says happily ever after because this is a like a fairy tale theme. I'm going to put that in there somewhere. I kind of wish I would have put a little fabric in behind here. I think once I put the trim or the, the decorative stitching on it, it'll be a little bit fancier, actually. I forgot to ink that. All right. So we've got two tags. I think I'm going to go ahead and sew the papers in before we trim trim this here. So let me get, I will show you what I did make off camera. I made these cute little um, booklets. So there's two, those will go in there somewhere. So I'll put those aside. Let me get my needle and my thread. And if you guys, you know, know how to do this or you can fast forward or this color matches really good, doesn't it? I was just going to use, um, I wasn't going to use wax linen thread, but that's a nice match and that's a color I don't use a lot so might as well and three times did I pull my needle out did I not pull my needle out I thought I pulled my needle out yeah, it's right here, right in front of my nose. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Oops, split that. Oh, I'm completely out. I'm sorry, guys. I have to kind of get right up underneath my nose to thread a needle, though. So you'll have to you'll have to excuse me for a second. This is very, this is pretty thick. Okay, I'm gonna get my pokey tool. First thing I'm going to do is I have my papers there. They, I've sized them to make sure they fit good here. Okay, and they're not gonna get hung up on this. So, um, I came in and I did a little scalloped edge and then we made this for the middle. 
so I'm going to go ahead and just put a couple of little clips because I have a little bag in here. Let me make sure that bag's, yeah, that bag that can, yeah, that's fine. It can go up there. I have a little bag in the middle. All right, I'm just gonna put one on that side and one on this side. Okay, make sure. Now I wanna come down one inch from the top and one inch from the bottom and I misplaced my other little ruler. So since this isn't a great big book, this will be really simple. And I've got my pokey tool. I put a foam book under. I'm just going to go ahead and measure one inch and poke a hole right through there. And I'm going to do the same on this side. And poke a hole. And I'll do the same thing to the cover. So this is, uh, I want to do six inches between because this is eight inches. So it's, or it's six inches to each hole. So I'm going to go ahead and measure at the three. So I know that's in the middle. And we're gonna do the same thing here. the phone book for this and one inch from the bottom whoops let's do it this way this is so bent up this is just a little sewing uh, ruler but I have the other one on my desk somewhere the little one I like to use the little ones in the projects in my paper crafting small projects like this make sure you guys can see so there's this, um, right at the three there we go sure that's through okay let me move my phone book Now I'm going to have the thread on the inside because I think I'm probably going to put a bead on it and have it hang down here. Hang on to your thread so you don't split split it. Because if you split your thread, you won't be able to tighten your note. You won't be able to tighten your threads and you'll have to pull it out and do it again. sure I didn't sew it in upside down. I have done, been known to do that. All right. Check on the outside. Uh, nope, that's not quite tight enough. So I'm just going to bring it in through the bottom here. Pull my needle out. Tighten 
tie it in a knot. Tie it twice. One and two. Okay, so then I've got some threads hanging down. It's waxed linen. Okay, so here's our book. Okay, now we are ready to, and I'm gonna put a clip on this because I want to just do a little bit of embellishment on the pockets. And then we'll put our, um, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to make a little altered paper clip with you really quick out of some of these papers. I had, um, oh dear, I my, these are cute, I'm going to um, put those somewhere. I just have all these pieces over here. I have, yeah, I wanted to use these two. Now, if I had more, well, I guess I could use a little bit of this. Let me put that away. Okay, I want this to say princess on both sides. So this paper clip is going to just go uh, in the middle here. And actually, I wanted to ink this, but I, I'll ink it later, uh, just for the essence of time. But I was thinking, this is just a simple way to add something to the page, and then the recipient can move the paper clip throughout with notes. And I think I'm just going to take a little of this, because it kind of goes. And I'm going to cut that. Um, I'm going to glue that on right in the middle. So you can make your little altar paper clips to match your projects with your cutoffs and a little, you know, if there's a little journaling if you buy the paper kits that have the um, little, um, you know, journaling cards in them or embellishments that go with the kit, the paper, you know, the paper crafting kit. Make your own little decorative uh, paper clips. This one is a little bit more hanging out the bottom there. Okay, so got a little paper clip and that can be written on right there on the front. And it says princess on both sides. Okay, so let me put that over here with the tags. That's going to go in. And my little booklets, that'll go in here. And let's go ahead and uh, I'll leave that glue off figure out how I want to trim this out with some of my scraps. I did have, let me see what I have here. Like that, do I have another piece for the other side? I do. Okay, so that's kind of fun. Though, uh, let me just see something. I do want to add a little ribbon. Okay, so we're gonna add a little ribbon. Let me get this squared off with my doll paper, my doll scissors that I've used as tools. This is better. And let me get my pencil. I have to get a new one because I lost it. Actually, I think I can see better on this side. 
and oh you know what do I kind of like the black that and then the black or the black here I like this one because it'll kind of match the tag so it all I'll just cut this down see if I would have thought ahead of time I could have sewn this on but I didn't so we'll glue this on Oops. I didn't think that this would go into three parts but it might that there and we're going to put a little fabric this is like grow gain ribbon. Whoops. It's not really even. Right in the middle. There we go. Just put a bead of glue right down the middle. Good old fabric tack. I may come back and put a little uh, crystal on this. Add a little bling to it, possibly. Okay, so this tag, after, well, I will sew these tags. This will go in here. Um, also, this is a kind of a little bland. So I think I might add um, like a word here on some fabric or an, another piece of trim depending on. Okay, so we're going to move on. Let's go ahead and um, trim out this. Let's do the back, the back pocket. And then... Um, I think I'm just going to add these in there. I have these two. Actually, let's just pop those in. I'll just put them down here. Wait a sec. You know what I want to do? Let's see if I have a piece of cheesecloth or something to put underneath that. Uh, cheesecloth. I'm looking to see if I just have, yeah, I've got a little scrap of it right here. In the scrap box. Let's cut a little piece of this. Just for interest you could stamp you could use some washi here you could uh, do a little cluster however you want to decorate your pages out stop there we go Okay. I think instead of, you know I'm going to do the back page like this. Let me just pop this tag in. So you know how I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and do the middle page just for the, for, for time's sake. And we'll pick out some trim here. Whoops. Okay, what else do I have over here? I like this because it says happily ever after. Happily ever after. Let's put that in here. Let me just, you know, it's, 
eight inches. So I'm gonna just trim, I'll trim it just a little off. It looks like probably about like this. One for that side and one for this side. Okay, we'll glue that on. here um, I think I want to make uh, too big this is kind of been let me take a little bit more off here um, but this is kind of a little crooked but that's okay I think I made um, pay a cards card set with this um, with this paper kit. Okay, what else do I wanna do on there? Um, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to add in here one of these. This says once a pound a time, this says ever after. I like the once upon a time. That'll go right there. And I'll put one in the back. And then this says happily ever after. So that'll go there. These little two, uh, these little booklets I will tuck in here. I'll probably come in and add a little bit of embellishment. Um, I want to make two large tags for back here. I'm going to make them similar as to the other one, probably out of this cardstock right here. So that will be next, and then I'm going to do a little embellishing. Let's go ahead and put um, our paper clip in here somewhere. Let's put it right here. So that can just go right, pop right on the top. And I just have a couple more tags to go. And I'm probably gonna come in and add some fun trim to the pages, a little bit more. And, oh, you know what we didn't do? Let's go ahead and add our tie on this. So I've got this uh, crocheted trim, cotton trim, lace trim, whatever. And um, let me just see what I've got here. Okay, I wanna bring this in through here. And I'm going to have to use something to poke it through because it's it's thick it might even be too thick to just you know what I wanted to do a double but it's gonna have to be a single actually I can't do it the way I did the other one I'm going to have to poke it through here because it's so thick let me see let me see if this my idea is going to work. And then put a knot on that side. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to knot this side here. And I had a little bit too much. I'll just trim this off.
and then this will wrap around here I think I got a lot I might take a little of that off and down through there so I'm going to come back and embellish this a little bit more and um, I have another flip through that I'm going to show you at the same time and um, we'll go through the whole thing then. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.